7 Ways to Maintain Your Professional Network Without Annoying Your Contacts The rest is all about reaching out in an appropriate way depending on your relationship with your contact, so you strengthen your connections and can tap them for help when you need it. Let these tips show you how to walk the line between authentic and opportunistic. 1. Reach out on social media. Finally, a legit reason to spend time on Facebook and LinkedIn during the workday. These and other social media sites allow you to get your name in front of old and new connections in an unobtrusive way. As you scroll through your feed, keep an eye out for profile updates or posts from your connections that announce a promotion, new company direction, or a career milestone. 2. Schedule regular check-ins. For closer contacts, like a former mentor or key client you've worked with many times, don't wait for them to post something online. Some people just don't participate in social media that way. Instead, take the initiative by sending them a regular email or message, say, every 60 days or once per quarter. 3. Plan small get-togethers. Arranging for a face-to-face catch-up with each contact individually is an impractical time suck. The solution? Set up small gatherings for a handful of people who all know each other. This way your crew of former co-workers from a past workplace, for example, can get together for a lunch or happy hour outing. The group get-together works for a few reasons. First, it saves everyone time and energy. Second, you avoid the discomfort that sometimes happens when you're sitting across the table with one contact you haven't seen in a while. And no longer have much to talk about. 4. Show your gratitude. If one of your contacts taught you a valuable career lesson or helped you resolve a tricky issue, show your appreciation by sending them a note. Handwritten always comes off as more personal and meaningful. But in today's digitally connected world, an email or social media post can be appropriate as well. 5. Share your talent. Offering to do a business-related favor, for example, arrange an email introduction with an industry leader you know, or posting a Facebook link to a contact's latest podcast, conveys generosity. Most people tend to wait to network until they need something rather than reaching out authentically and genuinely. 6. Always update your contacts list. People get promoted, marry, move away and switch specialties all the time. Keep up with all the shifts by creating a Google Doc or spreadsheet that lists all your contacts by name and includes what they do and how you met and updated every time something changes. 7. Give them space. Staying close to business contacts means knowing when to back off. If a colleague is really overwhelmed, it's a nice gesture to periodically send them an email or leave a voice message and add. No need to respond. This shows a lot of respect for their schedule, because they may be too busy to get back to you and likely feel guilty about it. It frees them up and lets them know you simply want to check in and show that you care.